so so how did you like decide when did you decide to turn on a camera um and and, and do and start streaming and and podcasting and and how did you kind of find rbn i kind of want to hear like like the origin story of uh, how, how did we end up here having this conversation i, lo I love asking everybody this that that, that question you see where it goes well it was in a galaxy <laughs> far far away a long long time ago i was in studio 54 having a <laughs> dirty martini and you know uh Rick James came up to no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I wish it started off like that. But um, it's kind of interesting. So I've had this, I've had this channel for quite some time. Um, but I didn't really do much of anything with it until uh, last year. Mm -hmm. um, and then I started to put little clips here and there about my political opinions, things like that. And the time when I really like dove into this, truly meant to dive into this, was in uh, late October, early November of last year. And I already had a few people who were, you know, subscribed, but it was just like people just in passing, like, oh, this tiny little channel where he did a couple quirky things and that's it. And that was it. Um, but it's interesting that you asked that question because uh, the people, the, there's two people who um, really inspired me. Not well, it, yeah, inspired, but also encouraged me to create my channel. Is former uh, FHL slash RBN member Jackie mm -hmm. and Sabby Sabs. They were the ones that encouraged me to create my own channel. And they were very, you know, they were behind me the 100%. And uh, I finally decided, you know what? I just need to do it. Because I wanted something of my own, but at the same time, I also wanted to cast a wider net uh, as far as the independent left space goes, mm -hmm. because not everyone is going to want to, and I, I, I kind of use the term loosely, subscribe to different people because they may have different personalities that they may like, they, they may want to get their information from or their commentary from. So I figured maybe some people would like to hear from, from somebody like me, you know, and I figured because of the type of background that I have, one of basically being within a hair's breadth of a poverty, being also queer and being disabled, maybe just maybe that somebody would want to hear what I have to say and it would they would feel hurt. So that's one of the reasons why also that I also created my channel. And also I just wanted to, <sighs> there's a lot of people within this space, <clears throat> bread tube. <laughs> There's a lot of people who are in this space who they have their sense of urgency is contingent upon certain factors happening to them. But those factors aren't necessarily tied to um, housing security food insecurity um they're not necessarily tied to some of these more pressing things because they tend to be a little bit higher up on you know the the class scale and so it's not as big of an urgent thing for them as say somebody like myself so uh, i think that's part of one of the reasons why that I also felt kind of a need because and and plus well pff, look at me I'm black so <laughs> you know that also covers another base so uh, yeah so it's just I there's not a lot of people who reflect me in this space so I felt you know might as well jump I've been with RBN for gosh nine months 10 months by that time, well, eight or nine months by that time. No, my math's horrible, six months. 
duh. Um, by that time, so I figured I got enough training, so I think I can start on my own. Well, you guys launched like April first of last year, right? Um, yes, we did. And I, I, you know, you're one of the three founders, correct? Or no, it was it was Rome and Jay and Nick, correct? Or you were one of them too, right? You were right there. Well. I mean, yeah, I mean, the idea came from them and the, the first group was uh, Nick, CJ, Rome, myself, Jackie and RJ. Right. Um, so, yeah, it, that we were the first people who uh, started um, at the time. It was called FHL. Fred Hampton left us, but uh, we since changed the name to Revolutionary Blackout Network. Yep, yep, yep. So again, I, I've been a follower and a fan and an amplifier pretty much since the day you guys launched. Um, I, I thought it was fantastic to have a you know that that voice and you guys, like I said, have pretty much brought the words mutual aid, in my opinion, back to a to a mainstream point on the left, um, to a place where people had not really been talking about it to the level that. And, and you guys burst on the scene pretty quickly. Um, I, I'll, I'll tell you that we were running the U.S. Solutions Summit. I, I was the event director for it last year. And people were like, you know, you guys should invite RBN. You know, at that time, FHL. I'm like, I, I would love to, but I don't even know who they are, what they are yet. I, I think they're doing some great things. Uh, and now I regret, of course, not getting you guys involved earlier and realizing how, how much we were going to grow together. But I, I just didn't know at the time. But you were so new. And I saw what you guys were doing. I, I just love it. I, I've loved it from day one. Thank you. Um, Thank you. I've seen the evolution, how you added people, how there was struggle and there was conflict, and you guys worked through it. I think you came through stronger in the end. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I, I think that there's still love for all of the, the former members that are there, which I think, you know, is, is a great thing as well. Um, but and, and I agree with Jackie and Sabby, and I I was probably also one of the people saying who you encouraging you to have your own channel because that's actually you know uh, what happened with FHL and RBN in October inspired in a way INN uh, Indie News Network because I saw what happened and I said you know it, they have it like just perfect they're, they're, the way that everybody's independent but the thing is is that now meg and rj left and they had to pretty much rebuild their channels from scratch so it was that everybody should have their own channel and their own presence and their own own audience that you're bringing to the network and it changes yeah. things a little bit and it gives you the flexibility to be more independent and to have more of a voice in the network so um, and when we put INN together, it was, I wanted to make sure that people did not have a huge following and a huge presence. So nobody was going to have the ego or big time. We're all small. We're all starting out. We're all missing something and we're all here to help amplify and lift each other. And I think that that's what you guys do so well. Uh, and the way that you work together, the round tables certainly inspired what we do with our round table streams. Um, and, and again, it's really funny when, when, um, Nick said that he wanted to do a a summit uh, back in November. You know, he he announced it. He was on stream with CJ, and he goes, you know, I I, I think I want to do a summit around like the uh, around solutions and around um um jobs and around maybe a general. So I'm like, ah, we've been organizing. We've been doing something like that. We put out something like that just four months ago. I want to help. I want to be involved. So was so happy to be able to be involved with the general strike summit. And you guys again are. Are leading the way as far as putting on events like that. Um, 